Hello, it's uh, John Canalopoulos, eye surgeon from Athens, New York, New York City, New York, and I'm pleased to introduce uh, my associate, George Asimelis, Dr. Asimelis. Hello, Congress. Well, we believe that OBL is uh, compressed gas created by the femtosecond laser during the flap creation, and uh, we want to find a way to eliminate uh, its uh, presence. Uh, in the previous uh, work of ours, we measured it digitally, and uh, now we have a new idea on how to make it even better. Yes, yes. We want to thank uh, Zissimos Lemonis from uh, Wavelight and Alcan for uh, supervising and uh, actually uh, inventing the uh, settings. Uh, we're skeptical that the wider uh, venting channel, and this is intrinsic for the FS200 technology, it's the femtosecond laser that vents the uh, lamellar cut gas during the procedure um, immediately uh, outside uh, the cornea And that's plane. a unique uh, femtosecond uh, FS200. Yes. Uh, Yes, it's intrinsic for the FS200, and without further ado, we'll let you watch the previous uh, work that uh, me and George had published at the Clinical Journal of Ophthalmology on uh, a new concept of digitally um, evaluating OBL, which is far away from subjectively doing so in the OR, uh, as well as, uh, absolutely, there, there's no question that it's objective, and uh, also uh, you'll be able to watch some video and see the actual action and how this is measured. We thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. This is the uh, uh, refractive suite, the FS200 uh, laser on the uh, left, uh, and uh, this is the report it gives after completion of the LASIK flap. George, explain us how do you calculate? Well, the selected area that you see in red is uh, highlighted uh, with uh, the digital software, and the digital uh, count is shown in a uh, We've published this uh, in clinical ophthalmology, and here you can see their standard narrow uh, angle channel. Um, we in previously uh, have seen reports on OBL which are uh, subjective, uh, just calculated by the surgeon. Here uh, you can see the FS200 uh, uh, applanating uh, the cornea to create a LASIK flap. You saw initially the uh, venting channel, uh, a very fast laser, six seconds to complete lamellar cut. Here, the other eye of that same patient, OBL, first eye, second eye, and we've published already on this um, a very low occurrence of OBL. Uh, we wanted to give you an example. We had to look hard on uh, and this um, uh, particular case. Uh, we're applanating, calculating the flap. You can see there is a small percentage of OBL, which is not objective with George's calculation. You can see the exact uh, numbers. Um, we've used um, uh, Zismos Lemonis new uh, uh, channel settings. You can see here our current technique, and this is the technique we're publishing in this paper compared against to the older technique. You can see similar applanation. Uh, only difference here is uh, this is a dark area, iris. And uh, please note that the bottom of your image, this is a surgeon's view, the much wider channel, uh, which is a venting channel for lamellar cut, completion of the flap, alert. George narrate the next eye of that same patient. Now we see the white flap it starts creating less than six seconds. Absolutely no OBL in this uh, one. The flap is just created with a wider channel. So even with the strictest criteria that we're introducing, digital analysis, as you can see here, of even minute amounts of OBL, uh, one or two percent, you can see here the uh, standardized comparison of the narrow channel to the wide channel, and the numbers are convincing. Um, we're seeing uh, the uh, even so small percentage of OBL being essentially eliminated. I think this is the key picture. Uh, we're seeing uh, on the right, blue, the older parameters, on the uh, left, in orange, the newer parameters. Uh, there's a dramatic reduction of OBL occurrence. And this concludes our presentation. We thank you very much for your attention.